One Tonawanda family has had to put all of their plans for this year on hold. That's because their 11-year-old son was diagnosed with a brain tumor. At 646, this family is dealing with a medical crisis, but they're also learning support from the community can make all the difference. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley has this story for us this morning. In an instance, our life felt like it came to a halt. For Lisa Sisnowski from Tonawanda, life has become a blur because her son Jake is in Pittsburgh undergoing special care to learn to walk and speak again. You just go through the motions of living. It doesn't feel like a life anymore. Just a few months ago, Jake was an active 11-year-old boy who loved outdoor activities with his parents, Mike and Lisa, and he was thrilled to be a Boy Scout, able to camp and do all the adventuresome things that Scouts take part in. Um, we ride bikes, we go hiking, we go camping. But in a blink of an eye, the Sosnowski's lives changed on February 2nd after it was discovered that Jake had a brain tumor that was causing him to fall. In his fourth ventricle of his um, brain, there is a large amount of mass, actually the size of your fist, his fist, taken up the whole space. Surgeries at Women and Children's Hospital removed most of the tumor, but not all. It was too dangerous to remove a part attached to Jake's brainstem, and the surgeries left the once energetic Boy Scout with posterior fossa syndrome, a condition that makes it difficult to move or speak. He was just pretty much immobile, and he would just, you know, stay there, and he would cry for us. After physical therapy here in Buffalo, Jake was moved to the Children's Institute of Pittsburgh for special rehabilitation. Rehab has allowed him to wiggle his toes and move about in a wheelchair and he is slowly learning to speak again. We, we just kind of are, are just doing day by day. But while the Sisnowski's life has changed, the realities of life did not. Mike and Lisa now have to split their time between working in Western New York and traveling to see their son in Pittsburgh. Lisa and Mike need to be with our son. And that's where a sisterhood of care is making a difference. Lisa's co-workers at Century Airport Pediatrics have taken it upon themselves to raise funds so the Sisnowskis can spend more time with their son and less time worrying about the bills. When something happens to one of us, it happens to all of us. So we kind of felt the need that, you know, Lisa, Mike, and Jake are our family as well. A GoFundMe account has been started for the family, and a benefit is scheduled at the Brighton Fire Hall on June 4th from 4 to 9 p.m. Anything possible to try and make things easier for Jake. And while there is a lot of hope and prayers that Jake will someday be able to walk, talk, and return to scouting, the Sosnowskis are now finding that when life gets overwhelming, you can make it through with a little help from your friends. Just without that support, there is no way that we will be able to get through this. Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News. You know, when you hear something like this, you immediately, your first instinct is, how can I help? So we'll include a link to the GoFundMe page on our WKBW app. But when you hear that Jake has a mass or had a mass the size of his fist in his brain, uh, you can only imagine the pain that that causes and the heartache then that ensues right after all those surgeries knowing that he has to learn to walk and talk again. And how hard this has to be for the parents who know he's in Pittsburgh and they have to travel back and forth. All they want to do is be there with him. So. Well, I think everyone in Western New York is going to be Team Jake today. Yeah, great story. Great story by Ed Riley.